Welcome to another edition of Wildlife Sounds. I'm Renee Williams and I'm here with uh, Matt Springer and he's the Extension Wildlife Specialist and I know a lot of people already know your name and face, Matt. Um, we're going to do like a creepy edition, just some sounds today, right? Yeah, we're going to stick with that Halloween theme and, and put a little wildlife twist on it. That's for sure. Sounds good. All right, so you have several sounds for us today. Yeah, I've, I tried to pick some of the ones that are, are uh, a little bit eerie if you hear them, especially if you're out walking the woods at night. Um, mm -hmm. They can at least, you know, some of them might send some chills up your spine. Um, if you know what they are, they may not anymore. Um, right. Maybe some of them still will, depending on the situation. So, uh, but yeah, I've got uh, four different species that I thought were uh, pretty relevant to this week. Um, so we can, we can go from there whenever you're ready. All right, let's go. So for our first one in our Halloween theme here. Hmm. Any ideas? Well, it's, do, it, do you think it's a mammal, a bird, a, a amphibian? I'm guessing a bird. Okay. Big bird, little wrong. bird. You're Maybe right on a, bird. A bright on bird, okay. Um, maybe a bigger bird? It, it is a bigger bird. So here's our answer. And oh. for those of you that can't don't recognize this bird, um, it's the barn owl, uh, which was a relatively common raptor uh, previously uh, for our state and, and much of its range in North America. Uh, mm -hmm. Unfortunately, though, because of some rodenticide issues and, and a few other things, uh, their populations have crashed, and we have about 50 pairs in the state of Kentucky now. Oh, my. Uh, but they do shriek rather loud. And, and there's several other owls I was kind of playing back and forth. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, I, I landed on this one. So do they uh, all have that heart shaped head? All the, uh, the, the barn owls do. Um, wow. Not all owls necessarily have that heart shaped head. Right, to but you could tell a barn owl from, from the heart shape. Uh, yes, that white heart shaped face there is, is mm -hmm. definitely uh, one that carries through for that, that group of owls. So That's neat. Yeah. All right, That's let's move on. Noise. <laughs> move on to the next one. I don't know. That one sounds mad, but I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's it, well, so it's more than one, and they're disgruntled. Um, <laughs> And it's definitely one uh, that we hear a lot more, especially if you live around cornfields mm -hmm. uh, or even urban settings or, or uh, suburban settings. Right. Uh, this, this is an animal uh, that is definitely a very common animal in rural or in urban and suburban and agricultural settings. Okay. Um, and actually we're hearing them fight. So. Oh. oh, raccoon. Ah, yes. The tail gives it away, right? Mm -hmm, definitely. So the actual animals that are fighting are in the background there. So you can't really see them, unfortunately. But this is this is a raccoon scuffle over some food. Uh, and one that you do hear quite a bit if you're in the woods, um, especially when those guys are active. Mm -hmm. So a little bit, you know, I not as straightforward. Kind of if you were yeah. outside. <laughs> it is very loud. It, and that I think is the more, that's the part that doesn't carry through here is when, if you hear this, uh, you can hear it from several hundred yards away. Oh, wow. It is, it is a loud scream. And if it's close to you, it really will set you on edge. I bet. <laughs> well, let's go to our next one. Now, our next one, we have three different sounds for this species. Okay. And that's because of the wide variety of noises they'll make uh -huh. um, that, you know, each and every single one of them is kind of a little different, but a little, but each one I think carries some weight here in terms of the eerie factor. So that's our first one. Oh my. That had dinner bell at the end too. <laughs> Now, all of those are slightly wow. different, but... And it's but all the same animal? All the same animal, slightly different moods each time. Uh, a couple of them are communication with each other. One mm -hmm. of them is definitely a defensive growl. Yeah, uh, and the other, <laughs> the other one can be a defensive growl and show as well. Um, so, yeah, the, the last two I'd say if you hear, you might be in trouble. Okay. Um, but it's actually pretty closely tied to UK. Oh, 
Oh, okay. <laughs> so, um, and these guys, uh, especially come, uh, late fall, early winter, they come into breeding season mm -hmm. and they make some really weird noises when they're trying to find each other during breeding season. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's kind of, you may hear them at night as they're running around looking for each other. And are they in the cities as well? Uh, so we could, you can, there's definitely places in the country that have urban bobcats. Mm -hmm. Um, they do quite well, um, in suburban settings, uh, under certain circumstances. And we actually have bobcats that are just outside of Louisville, okay. um, that we're getting more and more reports for, uh, mm -hmm. I would say, um, Lexington, maybe not as much, um, because of the high concentration of traffic and, and relatively no amount of, um, green space. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, we don't have like, you know, we don't see a whole lot of urban deer either in, in Lexington compared to other places, but, okay. uh, places like Louisville, Bowling Green, I could definitely see having, uh, a lot of bobcats, uh, in suburban areas. Okay. So, all right. We all right. One more for us. One more. Now this Probably one I've heard, wrong, but that sounds more like a bird. <laughs> but it is. It is not a bird, and I, a I've bird. heard. Nope, I've heard people say it sounds like a kid screaming when you hear it in person. Oh, yeah. It it, it the sound clip doesn't really do it justice. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is one that actually I would hear in my backyard in Lexington um, at night uh, or early morning when I was drinking my coffee, getting ready for work. I'd hear this one. It's What's it's a sound it, for. Well, so that's a, a communication trying to find its mate. Oh, okay. It's really what it, it's, it's a, it's a, a trying to find its mate and only the mate will actually recognize who that individual is and call back. Oh, so, yeah. Well, let's see what it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah it's, I've seen it's, those around Lexington quite well, a bit. We got plenty of them. You can pull up to the Fayette mall at, at dark there and go behind the food court parking lot, but uh, be, between the park and Shalito park and, and the food court, and you'll find them running around looking for food that was dropped. Yeah. I see them so, at Shalito all the time. <laughs> Yeah, they they do quite well in urban settings, and actually, um, they used to be in agricultural settings a lot too. Uh, but with coyotes um, numbers increasing, they've really knocked fox populations back quite a bit because they do not get along. Oh, yeah. So, but this is just a sampling. A few of the weird wildlife sounds I figured would go with our theme this week. Um, yeah. Obviously, we you know I could probably fill this show entire show up with them, um, <laughs> but but I didn't want to lose it, miss out on the fun. All right. Well, thank you for joining us on this uh, little bit of a, I guess, a creepy edition of, <laughs> of From the Woods today. All right. Take care.